Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming back for another video. I am so sick and tired of this lockdown stuff we're going through. And I was just reminiscing about, you know, all oh, the things we could do when this is over. And this brought me to the next thought of the title of this video, Things That I Miss About the USA. So I just sort of want to rapid fire these at you. Um, maybe you know what they are, maybe you don't know what they are, but um, I'll explain some of them and some of them I won't. I'll just kind of fly through that. So anyway, if you're new here, my name is Scott, aka Big Fun. Hi, nice to meet you. Thanks for stopping by. Um, maybe subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And anyway, welcome. And if you're returning, great to have you back. Let's get right into it. Friends and family, that goes without saying. I really do miss my friends. I really do miss my family, of course. Um, but even with the, you know, we have social media contacts and I, I do video calls and we call them quite a bit and chit chat and all that. So it's good. But yeah, I miss the weekly contact. But yeah, that's life, right? By the way, these are in no particular order at all. I'm just, I was just sitting down the other day with my computer and which is right in front of me here. And I just typed them all in and I thought, I don't know, just sort of whatever hit my head, I just put down. Um, but the first thing that came to mind was Andy and Krista when we went to uh, Lou Malnati's and got some really good Chicago deep dish pizza. I really miss that. That is fantastic. If you know what I'm talking about, if you've had a good pizza, a deep dish pie in Chicago, you know what I'm talking about. Second thing I miss is, is um, bagels. Like New York style, really good bagels. There's there's some bagels here, but they're not the same. It's just not the same thing. I miss McGriddles. Do you guys have McGriddles here? A McGriddle is imagine that you know the uh, some of them have breakfast. I know those breakfast sandwiches. Well, instead of those little bun bread dealios, what they did was replace those with little pancakes filled with little pockets of hot maple syrup in it. Oh. It's just killer. I miss I miss McGriddles. I miss breakfast sausage patties. <laughs> like we have the little Nuremberger sausages here that people will serve with breakfast maybe, but we don't have good old fashioned American sage sausage. I make my own actually, but um, and it's great, but I just miss, you know, having those things. I actually miss going out, which reminds me, I miss going out for um, American breakfast. You know, that's uh, that used to be a thing. Now it's pretty much not. We get a pretzel and a coffee and we sit down. <laughs> I miss going out for wings. In the U.S. we have these wings places. I don't know if you guys have these here, but um, Dave's I think is one of them. Buffalo Wings, er they're everywhere. And I really miss that. I miss Southern style barbecue, like really good smoked meat. Not just something splashed with a bunch of sauce and baked in your oven. No, I'm talking like applewood smoked meat or a brisket and then maybe a little sauce but mostly like smoked real barbecue i miss that a lot i actually did see one on facebook I, I have to look that up i don't know where he is but i think he's a little bit north of here in Mannheim. i think um but maybe i'll look him up he, he looks like he's got some good texas style barbecue so i miss a good old-fashioned chicago meatball sub you know what i'm talking about these are great just get you a big old big old hunk of bread bunch of meat in, a bunch of meatballs in there, slather with some sauce, maybe some mozzarella on the top there. Can't beat that. I also miss a good Italian beef. We don't have that around here, man. You know, with the dunking sauce and maybe some sweet peppers on there. Oh, that I miss too. That That's really good. I miss Mexican food. <laughs> we... I actually, I, I work with a guy. He works in the cantina. He's the only Mexican guy that I know. And one of these days, buddy, when this clears up, if you're watching this, we're getting together and we're making some Mexican food because I am dying for some authentic, good Mexican food. We just don't have that here. I miss Louisiana hot sauce. Everybody here uses Tabasco. And, okay, no offense to the Tabasco things, but if you've ever tried, like, Cholula or Louisiana hot sauce, these are spitze. These are so awesome. I also miss Cheetos and Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Although I did see them the other day at Attica, but they were like six bucks, six euros for a little bag about so big. Really? Uh, I don't miss them that much, but I do miss like cheese puffs and Cheetos. I miss Kraft macaroni and cheese. Oh, which reminds me, 
I miss it so much. I did pay a lot of money for one box, but it was at Adica. So look for that in a future video. I miss cornbread. Cornbread. Oh, I'll put that up here. Um, one of the viewers and her husband made some, or he made the chili, I think, but she made the cornbread. And I forgot that with my chili thing. You have to have cornbread with chili. I can't believe I forgot that. Thank you for reminding me. But there used to be these little blue boxes. I don't know what it is, but a little, a little mix. And once in a while, my dad would make those, and we cut it in half and pour syrup over it like a sort of a waffle thing. Ah, oh, it was delicious. I miss central air conditioning. <laughs> Sometimes I do. It gets hot and wet here, and I miss central air I miss forced air heating. We have radiators everywhere, and I know that's probably a little more... Uh, a, cost efficient and and better for the environment but i really miss that feeling when the boom the heat kicks on and all the whole air start moving around the house you know and oh it's fantastic i miss that i miss fishing i used to go fishing a lot in the u.s but it's really easy you know you just go buy a license and get your tackle and gear and go out and fish somebody told me there's a book that's like this thick and you have to read that book and pass a class before you can buy uh and honestly i don't have time anyway but if you're a fisherman, let me know. I would love to uh, chat with you a little bit and see what see where you're fishing and what kind of fish you're catching. I miss the over-the-top, wonderful customer service at maybe a little Greasy Spoon or a Denny's or an IHOP or something. When you walk in there, oh, hello, welcome to IHOP. We're so glad you're here. You know, you don't really get that here. And I have found a couple places that are like that. Um, one of them actually is really, really good cafe. If you don't know the Cronin Cafe in Karlsruhe, you got to go there. No, number one, they have the best coffee in the world. And number two, when we open back up, when things open back up again, try their breakfast. It's phenomenal. I miss doing my own oil changes, working on my car, and washing my car in my driveway when I want. Um, they really frown upon that here. And quite honestly, I have not found any biodegradable soap to do that. I don't know if that's just not a thing here, but yeah, I can't, I can't change my oil. Everything has to be done in the shop, so okay. But I sort of miss that. I used to be a car guy. Well, I am a car guy at heart, but uh, I don't really work on my cars anymore. So I miss the 24-7 stores. <laughs> you know, I used to work late a lot for a particular job that I had. And it was nice once in a while to be able to say, oh, man, it's 9 o'clock at night. I'm just getting home from work. I'm just going to swing in the store and get the stuff that I need and be done but here you know the sidewalks are rolling up at 6 p.m <laughs> but yeah small town uh, germany that's the way it's the same way in small town america too so i miss the huge american malls you know these gigantic places where you could go and walk around and there's 300 different stores and those are kind of fun it's like a tourist attraction i miss trader joe's i actually worked there put myself through college seven years ago or so. Um, I really miss Trader Joe's. They have some great foods, and um, it's sort of a fun, happy place. If you've never been there, you should check it out. I miss Thanksgiving Day. You know, not just the food. Yeah, there's the turkey and the stuffings and all this other stuff. I miss the camaraderie of, of getting together with your friends and family and, you know, watching a football game, and that's fun. I like that stuff, and I miss it. I miss baseball. <laughs> I think in one of the very first videos I had, I wore my White Sox hat. Uh, I'll get it for you. I'm a White Sox fan, <clears throat> but my family mostly is Chicago Cubs fans. And my dad asked me a long time ago, like, why are you a White Sox fan? I said, well, you and your cousin Jim brought me to a game, a White Sox game when I was like nine, so it's your fault. <laughs> so this is my White Sox hat. I wore this, I think, in the first video. I miss drive throughs we don't have them. I only miss them a little bit. We don't. We have them here like Burger King and McDonald's have them in some places. But I don't miss them a lot because I think drive throughs make fast food restaurants super accessible. And that's not always a good thing. But I do miss them occasionally when you're just like, oh, I just don't want to cook tonight. And just uh, duh. But mostly what we do nowadays because of the lockdown and stuff, pretty much everybody delivers so we can just order that. That's nice. But drive throughs you know, you get it right away. So I sort of miss drive throughs a little bit. I miss small talk, too. You know, <laughs> when I first got to Germany, um, I would do that to everybody. I'm like, hello, guten tag. And they would just look at you like, who is that? <laughs> 
You know, like, why is he talking to me? And now, although now I do it just because I think it's funny. Um, the other day I was at a, uh, <clears throat> I was at an Attica and I walked in and I, and I just looked at the lady and she looked at me and she kind of nodded her head and I said, Guten Tag, wie geht es dir? And she looked at me like, <laughs> didn't say anything. <laughs> I just thought, she's going to be thinking the whole day long, do I know that guy? Why did he say that to me? Who is he? <laughs> but so I do it a little bit now just for fun. I miss free water in restaurants, tap water. I, I, this one I really don't understand because where I live, we have some of the best water in this whole area. It is right out of the tap. It's delicious. It's clean. It's really, really good stuff. But they don't serve it in restaurants. You always get stilles Wasser, which is, you know, still water, or mineral water, you know, the bubbly water, Sprudelwasser. But if you order a bottle of that, they charge you for it. If you want more, they charge you for that too. So I sort of miss free water in restaurants. S'mores. I don't know if you guys know s'mores. S'mores are graham crackers, which we also don't have here in Germany. I cannot find and I really miss. But usually you would do it when you're having like a backyard barbecue or a campfire, bonfire rather, um, or you're going camping. You take these little crackers, they're about maybe about so big, and a little hunk of chocolate we use to use Hershey's chocolate. I like Nestle's better. Then you take a marshmallow, stick it on a stick, hold it over the fire. When it gets good and warm, you put it between these two, uh, two graham crackers and squeeze it off. And then you've got a graham cracker, melting marshmallow, melting chocolate, and a graham cracker. It's called a s'more because every time you eat one, you want some more. You want some more. S'more. And they're delicious. So if you, if you get a chance, you should make one of these. They're great. I miss rib tips. Rib tips. Oh, you know when you get a set of ribs and they're just like square like this and the ends are lopped off? Well, those that's not how it works. The ribs go like this and they come down to a point. But mostly they cut those pieces off. I used to go to this place called Hillary's in Waukegan, north of Chicago a little bit. If you ever get there, check it out. They have the best rib tips in the world. They take this little corner that's sort of shaped like this, I guess, yeah, and they chop it up and it's a little bit of bone and a little, so you have to be careful, but you just take a little piece of that, chew it up. Oh, it's just delicious. It's smoked really, really good. It's got a little bit of sauce on it, number two. Oh, just really, really good. I miss those. I miss American corn-fed beef. There is just nothing like it. It just tastes differently. By the way, I made a burger video. I'll put that up here, I think. I made a burger video a while ago, but now my recipe has completely changed because I found this wonderful Metzger eye, wonderful butcher, and I asked her one time, can you just put a little bit more fat and mix that up for me? And she did, and it made a phenomenal, really juicy burger. But I don't make them so thick anymore. I used to like them like that, but now I like, I make them really thin, and I put two of them on there. <laughs> so, but maybe I'll do that and show you, show you that uh, in an upcoming video, maybe this summer. I miss fresh grouper. I miss grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. I miss purple grape jelly. I miss like with good Wisconsin cheddar. I miss 4th of July celebrations. I miss Friday night races. I miss those crazy, wonderful, humongously, wildly decorated houses for Christmas around Chicago. And when I was a kid, I went one time with my parents to a vacation and we saw a parade on the Fort Lauderdale Intercoastal System. All these boats were decorated like with Christmassy stuff and it was fantastic. That was cool. I miss Peeps. Do you guys know what peeps are? Peeps are a little baby chicken made out of marshmallow and sprinkled with this yellow, I'll put a picture up here, uh, yellow sugary stuff, but they call them peeps because the little chickens, the little baby chickens make it And it's just this goofy thing. They make them in pink and blue and yellow and all kinds of different colors, but it's just a marshmallow treat. I miss potatoes for breakfast. <laughs> fried potatoes for breakfast. Can we please make that a thing? I miss St. Patrick's Day in Chicago. <laughs> Dying the, the river green and everybody walking around with something green on and crazy glasses made out of four-leaf clovers things, you know, and and that's uh, St. Patrick's Day in Chicago because it's a huge Irish community there. Um, it's just so much fun and, and I miss that. Maybe doing a pub crawl, winding up at Governor's Pub down by the river. Ugh. That was fun. Jim knows what I'm talking about. You know what's funny? A lot of these are foods. I'm a foodie. I like food. I miss Chicago deep dish pizza. Pretty sure I mentioned that already. Yeah, whatever. 
Now you know how much I miss it. <laughs> Another thing I miss is um, a good Chicago style hot dog. I'm a hot dog guy. My father and I actually built a hot dog truck and I operated it for a couple of years. I know a Chicago dog, I'm a hot dog guy. So let me tell you, this is how this goes. I'll tell you how to put it together, all right? First, you gotta find a good all beef hot dog. In Chicago, I used to sell the Vienna hot dogs. Top of the line, right? Then you gotta have the right bun, okay? That means poppy seeds. You're not gonna find them here, don't even look. But if you can find a bun that's a little buttery, that'll work too. Now, steam the dog. Don't throw the hot dog in a bunch of water. You're not washing it. It's a hot dog. Steam it. The flavor stays inside the dog when you do that. Also steam the bun. Okay, that's important too. Get it just a little bit hot. Then slap that dog in the bun and then you're going to dress it, alright? Dress it means you put the condiments on all the stuff on there that you want. And it goes in this order. All right, now I might have to cheat a little bit because it's been a long time since I've done this, so. <laughs> but this is important. This is important in Chicago. You have to put them on in this, in this order. All right, so first, yellow mustard, right? So you take the yellow mustard and you go, Zzz. but you have to do it like that in that back and forth motion across the dog. The dog, we call it a dog. Then you take sweet pickle relish, neon green pickle relish if you can find it. You can't. It's a Chicago thing. Take a little spoon and go blah, blah, blah. I'll put a picture up here and I'll show you. Then you're going to put your diced onions on there, all your chopped onions, as many as you want. Mostly we just sort of sprinkle it, just just like that. Two tomato wedges. You know what a potato wedge is, right? Just make a tomato, cut it into a wedge. Two. Boom, boom. Face in the same way because you need space on the other side for a dill pickle spear. It has to be a dill pickle. Put that on the other side from the tomatoes, then two little sport peppers in between, and then you sprinkle the whole, th and by the way, they have to be sport peppers. I've not even seen them here, but it's sort of a sweet, hot sort of a thing. It's not very hot at all, not very spicy at all. Just has really good flavor to it. Then you just shake a little bit of celery salt over the top and that's it. You do not put ketchup on a hot dog unless you're 10 years old or younger. I know that's a Chicago thing, but I have broken that rule so many times because I love ketchup. So all my friends in Chicago, sorry. That's just the way it is. I love ketchup. It's a budget setup. I was going to say, actually, I was going to say that I miss biscuits. But I found this, I'll put a picture up here right now. Knack und Bach Sonntagsbrotchens. But they're biscuits. And these are the real thing. Trust me. I, I One of these days, maybe I'll make a, a video if you want me to. Let me know. Uh, of uh, sausage and gravy. Put it over these biscuits. Oh, it's a great southern breakfast. I miss Fritos. <laughs> Fritos. Corn chips, man. We used to make these things called walking tacos. So they, the Fritos come in like a, a big bag, yeah, but you can get them in these little bags too. And you pop that bag open and you put your taco fixing right on top of the chips. And then whatever you want. You want your sour cream in there, your tomatoes, your onions, whatever. Mix it all up. And then you eat that. And we used to do that at parties because you didn't want to have this taco thing like breaking all over your nice dress or shirt or whatever. And uh, yeah, we used to call them walking tacos. You just walk around with a spoon in there, a fork in there, and be like, hey, how's it going? Hey, I got my walking taco. And it's just a bag of Fritos with all the fixings. And oh, they were delicious. I do miss, now don't get me wrong about this one, okay? Because my new favorite thing in the world is Schwarzwald de Schinken, this black forest bacon. Oh my God goodness and it's sliced very very thin but it is amazing we actually drive um just a little bit south of here oh i can't remember the name of the store um but it's like deep in the black forest and this ham is this bacon i guess you could call it i cooked it one time the whole house <laughs> smelled amazing you don't have to cook it i just wanted to have some eggs with this bacon and it was worth it i cut it thick oh it was killer but I do miss good old-fashioned American crispy bacon. I miss that, too. That is, there's just something about that. Pie. I miss pie. We don't have pie here. I think the last thing for me, and I've mentioned this a couple of times already in this video, I think, but burgers. I miss, I miss burgers. If you are planning a trip to the U.S., you have to add to your list go to a couple different places three four if you're there for long enough 
because the burgers are just different everywhere you go and the meat I think is just I hate to say it I'm sorry no offense but it's better I just like the American beef better so there it is that's my list I think that was like 80 things that I missed from the U.S. I don't miss them so greatly that I want to fly back and leave my life here because I love my life here I really do yeah I would miss I would miss this oh that's an idea Maybe the next video should be what I would miss about Germany if I left. Thank you so much for sticking with this to the end. And I really hope you have a great day.